Hi there, Seth here. I wanted to record a quick little video for you to show you how to log in as a student to Office 365. So to begin, I'm going to open my web browser. Uh, for today, I'm using the um, uh, newest version of Microsoft Edge. And I'm going to start by going to www.pearlandisd.org. There's a few ways that you can get to Office 365. Of course, um, you know, during this time, we also we do have our um, Pearland ISD online. There's an easy way to get there that way. But this, the way that will stay around for a while is if you click on Students, and then we're going to just scroll down just a little bit, and we will go to Office 365. Now, once this site loads, uh, you will get the Microsoft sign-in. This is where you're going to enter your entire um, email address. Now, students, your email address is your student ID at pearlandisd.org. That is not um, necessarily an email address that will that will receive email, but it is what you will use to log in to Office 365. So again, your username at pearlandisd.org. I'm going to click Next, and it will take me to my organization sign-in page, which here, this is our F5 login page. And so again, here in the sign-in box, you want to make sure that this is your username and then your uh, at, at pearlandisd.org. So username at pearlandisd.org. And then just type your password in this box here, and I'm going to click Sign In. Now, your, uh, this message, you may or may not receive this message, but uh, if, if you do, you can click to stay signed in. If you are going to be the only one using this, uh, only student using this, then I would say yes. If you're going to be swapping with several students in your, um, in your household uh, during this distance learning time, I would say no. So right now, I'm just going to say no, and then it will log me in to Office 365, where, um, for the purposes of remote learning, we're going to be using Teams. So I would then click on Teams. That page will load, and then when it does, all, all I would have to do is go into my teacher's class just by clicking on that team, and now I'm actually in that class. Now, if my teacher has scheduled a video chat with the class, all I would have to do is wait here in this class until towards the bottom of the screen, I will see a, um, a pop-up message that says a meeting has, has begun. All I would need to do then, once I see the meeting pop-up, is click on the Join button, and I'll be put right into the meeting. That's all for today.